Last but not least, let's talk about scheduling routines for your settings to take effect. This feature is completely optional, but helpful to know about in case you ever need it. To get to the place where we talk about routines and scheduling, you'll select the screen time tile under the child. You may also see a rules option at the top in blue that also drops you here as well. In this section, you can see a summary of what's allowed and blocked for this routine. Click on settings to customize those current rules further. Here, you can see we've already discussed most of these because some of the sections on the Bark phone tile, like apps and websites, are shortcuts that drop you into the current rules for apps, for example. A couple of more parts here that I like to point out are the exceptions and the copy rules options. In exceptions, you can quickly add a URL to be allowed or blocked in the case your other app and site rules didn't cover that URL. You can also use it to look at recently blocked activity in the case your child is asking you why something was blocked. You can see the reason for the block and you have the ability to quickly allow it if needed. And with the copy rules option, you can easily copy over the same rules to or from a different child. Now let's go back to that main screen time page, scroll down a bit further and look at routines. Routines allow you to schedule and customize the rules for your child throughout the week. For example, you can set a different bedtime for Mondays and Saturdays and also set different rules for bedtime than for free time. If you just prefer to stick to one solid routine to keep it simple, rather than having different rules for different times of the week, then just stick to the default rules routine. That's what we fall back on too. Otherwise, you're able to use these routines to set boundaries that work best for your child. We thought through these options in the following ways, but you're welcome to use them in whatever way works best for your family. So for bedtime, we thought limit device usage when it's time for lights out. Customize what they can access during bedtime. Perhaps they're only allowed to listen to Spotify or something like that. School time. Limit what can be accessed during the school day. Customize the apps and sites they might need for school, like Zoom, Google Drive, etc. But block social media, for example. Free time? Uh, this would be a dedicated time to use just for fun. Like, I only want my child to have access to social media during the free time block I've scheduled, or I'm only gonna schedule free time when they definitely finish their homework. You know, you can use these all in creative ways that work best for you. And lastly, the default rules is just that fallback for any other time that there's not one of those other routines scheduled. So if you never schedule other routines, the default rules is just what is covering the whole week. But in the event you wanna schedule a routine like bedtime, school time, or free time, you'll do so by tapping on schedule tap on the plus button, and there you'll be able to schedule a new routine. To customize rules applied for each routine, you'll click the rules button under the one you're interested in. Now let's go back to the main screen time page and you'll see that the school time routine I just set up is currently in effect by both the text and Apple icon. If you have a vacation or unexpected day where you want to apply a different rule set just for the day or a short period of time, that's when you can use the switch rules option here. For example, if my kid doesn't have school today due to a holiday, then rather than it applying school time rules, I may just temporarily switch rules, just a one-time override to free time. And lastly, We've talked about this in the other videos, but just a reminder that some settings for Bark Phone apply regardless of the routine scheduled, like the app time limits, those apply for each day, and app approval, contact approval, and the settings app access. So those you can always change at any time, but they apply regardless of the routine scheduled. And that's it for this video playlist series about managing rules for the Bark phone. The Bark support team is here for you. If you run into any trouble or have any questions, you can reach out to us at help at bark.us.